Hello there. Welcome to this session on services marketing. Uh, today we will discuss case 3 that is a group of cases in number 3 which is information technology services. So, here we start with the information technology services marketing. Now, the growth in information technology industry is perhaps the fastest of all. So, within a span of um, one decade or so, it has become a multi billion dollar industry. There are small and big players in this industry and each one is trying to carve a niche for itself. So, marketing plays crucial role in this industry. So, the marketing of IT there are certain issues. So, one is there is lack of infrastructure. So, IT has suffered from a lack of in infrastructure, hardware has not always been available, it is also not um, usually produced in India especially as it requires licensing and other government approvals before installation. A multifaceted product, IT being a product and service of recent origin is perhaps still adjusting in the world of traditional marketing. There is a large product range, so marketing of IT is complicated by the large product range such as games, business tools, financial applications, utility applications etcetera. So, the product range is really fast. And then there is software dominance, uh, if IT service provider was to sell a machine, it was expected that software and services would be open around the machine and users took essentially what was given to them. So, that is what is the uh, hardware based and there is a software domination uh, in the hardware. So, the emerging marketing mix, now the application software uh, that belongs to the segment of the market which merges IT applications with specific sector segments like ba banking, financial services, uh, mining, power, steel, transportation and ports. The professional services involve offering a variety of skills specific to an individual which can be utilized on projects. Then there is system integration, a specialized segment of the industry comprises integrating systems and providing what is commonly known as a turnkey solution. So, that is a solution provider. So, they take various hardware and software from different vendors and integrate them into a system. The maintenance services entail providing services for maintaining existing hardware and software. Education and training, quite naturally shortages in the IT industry have made manpower critical. Uh, training has become a very uh, crucial component of the product. Uh, Technology oriented application, so the industry has had a history of uh, 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 advancement into different technologies. The explosion of technology is different fields makes it extremely difficult to keep track and invest in all technologies. The software packages, software packages segment of the market is very competitive and given to fast changes. So, these are the emerging marketing mix in uh, IT services. So, the summary as a summary we can say a set of above 7 elements were found to be of utmost importance for IT organizations. Application software, professional services, system integration, maintenance services, education and training and technology oriented application, software packages etcetera are considered to be significant. Education and training has been seen as one of the major elements of the marketing mix. Next we come to telecom services marketing. So, here the Indian telecommunication industry has been zooming up at a fast pace. India has the second largest wireless network with 1 billion subscribers. There is substantial urban that is 148.03 percent and rural 50.95 percent mobile penetration in India. There are so many big players in the market leading to increase in competition. The industry is regulated by the Telephone Regulatory Authority of India that is TRI. So, you see that urban penetration is more than 100 percent. So, some people uh, general you know on an average people have one and a half mobile phones with them. So, some have two, some have one or some have slightly more than two and some do not have. So, an average of 148 percent is urban penetration in India. 
So, the 7 P's of the telecom services or the marketing mix of telecom services. Now, as you know that in services there are 7 P's. So, the first P is the product. So, different types of product are prepaid product, postpaid, broadband, internet data that is 2G, 3G, 4G, value added services, roaming, digital. So, these are the types of product, service product. Then we come to service pricing. So, cheapest price rate is being provided, customer based pricing strategy is there and the prices are controlled by TRI and there is flexible pricing and the prepaid and postpaid different types of pricing uh, uh, um, uh, formula or different type of pricing uh, lists are there with prepaid and postpaid for prepaid and postpaid mobile services. Now, the place there is wide and extensive coverage including rural areas, there is customer care touch point, there are distributors and there is online delivery of telecom services. So, that is what is the distribution, how the distribution looks. Then in terms of promotion, there is advertisement, the sales promotion, direct marketing, there are digital stores, there is digital holdings, sponsorships, public relations, email. So, all these are used for the promotion of telecom services. People, the customer care services, call centers depend on employees. So, a lot of uh, uh, telecom services actually depend on the employees of the telecom company, uh, distributors management and the reward and recognition that is provided to people for them to work uh, uh, with the customers in telecom services. The process that consists of easy accessibility, so documentation 24 by 7 customer support and feedback. So, this 24 7 customer support although it is uh, told everywhere, but many times that kind of support becomes difficult, it is not provided actually and feedback is uh, uh, sought from customers, but customers do not give feedback, they are more interested in their mobile wa working rather than um, uh, feedback. So, the 24 by 7 customer support actually becomes extremely important for the telecom service process. The physical evidence, there is not much physical evidence, the SIM card or the data connector or service outlet or recharge vouchers. So, these are some uh, evidence, some cues that the customer gets in order to judge what is the quality of the telecom services in the country. So, in telecom industry, <coughs> there is very tough com competition. New entrant Reliance Geo has changed the structure of the market. Uh, they are offering for 6 months or so, they are offering free services in the 4G space. There is fall in call rates and data charges. Because of operator portability, it is very difficult for service provider to maintain the customer base. Customer can retain his, uh, um, uh, can retain his plan, uh, sorry, can retain his mobile number and move to some other service provider easily. So, only the best service providers are able to keep their customers, others churn out from them. The innovative marketing strategies are required to reduce customer churn. So, uh, real uh, customer relationship marketing, real uh, connect with customers, providing them superior services, these are extremely important as far as the telephony services are concerned. Next, we come to the computer networking service, the internet experience. So, as an introduction, though many presume that internet to be a fairly recent phenomena, it actually started in late 1960s. However, in the early 1990s, few people actually used the internet for anything even remotely resembling business. In 1993, things changed a lot with the introduction of a new technology called the world wide web. Internet as a communication medium and as a repository of information has caught the imagination of computer users. So, how do you market the internet, M market within the internet? So, marketing on the internet is a very low cost strategy for establishing a brand and increasing sales volume. 
mainly there are four forms of services provided by internet to marketers. So, there is uh, sales and support, customer support, communication, payments and settlement, marketing research and feedback. The marketing plan on the internet. So, define the objective and target audience, evaluation of manpower and resources, uh, research the websites, acquire the hypertext markup language HTML, outline structure of the home page, appropriate outside link identification, prepare internal documents, web page creation, testing and enhancement of website and the maintenance of website, these are some of the marketing plans um, requirement on the internet. Now, how to make it successful? So, it needs evaluation, marketing on the internet needs evaluation, objectives have to be defined, ensure support from the organization, team formation, formation of detailed specifications, identification of internet service provider, blueprint development and promotion of website and update site and keep eyes on feedback. So, in India there is less development in the area of internet infrastructure. In rural areas there is less internet connectivity. Development of information technology and government policy for digitized India has given a boost to the industry. Now, big players are entering the market. So, then we come to media services marketing that is marketing of media services. Here, uh, Nowadays, media plays a crucial role in promotion and positioning the product and services. In the era of digitization media, especially social media play an important role in branding. Service providers use media to provide information and consumers use, the, use it for providing the feedback. The classification of media that consists of newspapers, magazines, flyers, posters, sky writing, brochures, wall painting etcetera and the broadcast there is radio, television, film, internet, websites, satellite and cable etcetera. So, the media services marketing mix consists of the product. So, seven P's first is the product, the core product is the content which is modified by service provider according to consumer psychology and nature of the products. The pricing is decided by broadcaster and it depends on timing, space and frequency of the advertisement. Place the media service can be distributed either offline or online. Promotion good content is best advertisement for this industry, word of mouth and public relations are popular methods for communication. People the people help organization in increasing brand loyalty and to achieve objectives. Process the process is combination of uh, three main elements that is planning and scheduling, technology and feedback. The physical evidence there is content, brand image, technology, related media personalities and logo are the basic elements of physical evidence. So, what are the steps in media planning? Now, the study of the target audience and its media preferences, this is the first step. Next is the internal analysis of the company, then setting the objectives, media strategy formulation, channel selection, decision on timing, space and frequency, the final proposal and the post campaign review. So, these are the steps in media planning. So, the face of media services has changed over the years. Uh, evolution of media services has happened in print, radio, television, internet and the social media. Uh, now, every organization is using media services as a platform to promote their product and services. The content is the key for success in media services. So, it should be developed and provided as per the tastes and requirements of the consumers. Next, we go to newspaper marketing part of media services marketing. So, there is a debate as to whether newspaper is a product or a service. However, consumers purchase it for content and information value, not for tangible features. 
So, it is categorized as a service industry. India is the largest newspaper market in the world with more than 6700 publications and more than 300 million consumers. So, it is published in Hindi, English, Urdu and other local languages. So, what are the types of newspaper on the basis of frequency there is daily, weekly, bi-monthly or monthly newspaper, basis of language the Hindi, English, Urdu and local languages, coverage international, national, regional or local and the format is the printed copy newspaper and the electronic newspaper. So, what are the 7 P's of newspaper marketing? Now, the product, the content is the key product for the newspaper industry. Information related with international, national, regional, business, science and technology, sports and entertainment, events are major source of content. The most newspapers these days are classifying the content and they are uh, um, taking advertisements related to specific product which is available. They are not only reporting the news, but analyzing the news and they are placing the analysis in front of the audience. So, this is the basically the product the 7 P's of newspaper marketing, the first of the 7 P's. The second 7 P that is price, the pricing policy of this industry is different from other industries. Unlike other products, price is not determined by adding a markup on cost, rather they have to make up deficit in pricing and realize the target profit with advertisement based revenue. The place, the newspaper sales involve distributing highly perishable products under severe time constraints. The circulation is normally through salesmen appointed by distributors who in turn pass it on to the hawkers. Hawkers or vendors are the last link in the distribution channel. So, responsiveness that is understanding customer needs and then uh, quickly delivering it, teamwork and efficiency play a crucial role in the distribution of the newspaper. The promotion marketers use personal selling for collecting responses, direct marketing for web edition, advertisement to increase product image and public relations to enhance the corporate relationship. Promotion expenses can be shared by channel members or it may be borne by a specific channel member only. The people, the agents and other channel members play a crucial role in circulation of the newspaper. For information collection and content development, well qualified personnel are required. The process, the content creation, publishing, distribution and consumption are the main elements of newspaper marketing process. The physical evidence, the color, size, printing quality and paper quality are the major elements of physical evidence which provide tangible cues to consumers for judging the newspaper quality. So, newspaper is one product which sells below its cost and the loss is compensated by advertising. However, if the sales volume is less than no one less then no one will advertise in a particular newspaper. Modern day marketing activities and e-newspaper emerges as a major challenge in front of the marketer. Next we go to broadcasting services marketing as part of media services marketing. The broadcasting is the distribution of audio and video content via radio, television or other media channel. Indian broadcasting industry is the largest industry in Asia. More than 900 channels of different genre such as entertainment, uh, sports, news, business and religion are available in India. Channels are available in Hindi, English, Urdu and other regional languages such as Punjabi, Marathi etcetera. There are many radio channels, uh, channels also available for dispersion of audio content. So, what are the 7 P's of the broadcasting service? So, in the broadcasting service first three P's that is product, promotion and place are decided through content only. So, content is in audio or video form as per emotional responses of the audience this content has to be developed and delivered. 
So, the price the major revenue comes through advertisement, some amount is charged to customers in the form of subscription fees in case of video broadcasting. Pricing is controlled and monitored by try. The rate of advertising advertisement is decided based on the popularity of show, time, frequency and specific occasions. The people, the people are very important in this industry for positioning and in developing perceived differentiation. Personality related to any broadcaster is the is representative of the brand image of the uh, um, the broadcasting service. The process, the planning and scheduling of the program are the major element of the success. Technology plays a crucial role and feedback of the viewer or listener is very important. The physical evidence, a logo, promo and personality related with broadcasting services are crucial elements of physical evidence. Technological advancement and content itself is also related to it. So, the broadcasting industry has grown very fast and competition is increasing by the day. Success factor in this industry is viewership and advertisement. Content plays crucial role in the success of any broadcasting service providing organization. Effective marketing internal and external marketing and broadcasting infrastructure are the key success factors. So, you have seen that with uh, FM services, the broadcasting infrastructure has to be quite good for the services to reach out uh, as far as possible, so that uh, the advertisements become meaningful to a large population. So, that is all in this session. Thank you very much. Hope this helps.